how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today i come with you and i'm doing a tag video i was tagged by sharon capehart which i will put a link to her channel down below if you don't know sharon which i'm sure most of you know but um, there might be some of you guys that don't um she's very very knowledgeable in skincare very knowledgeable I always tell her that, um, you know, like if there's something you need to know and even if there's a process you want to get done, like let's say lip, lip injections or something with your, you know, like when you want to get something a little more serious, more um, uh, surgical cosmetic kind of stuff done, she's your gal. Like um, she pretty much knows a good bit on some of those kind of things. And um, I always tell her, like I said, tell her she's so knowledgeable she's gorgeous she's funny um and she has her like questions and answers kind of thing which <laughs> sometimes you just never know what people are going to ask her and uh yeah it, it's a hoot so please go check her out and subscribe share some love and everything and i will put a link down below to her channel and uh so yeah and i, I just I, I think a lot of her she is so funny i enjoy her very much so this is a tag that uh several other people are already doing it's the springtime tag i believe is the name of it i might be more brighter because i brought up the notepad thingy so if i'm extremely bright i apologize spring means glowing skin what do you do for a healthy for healthy glowing skin well for healthy glowing skin one of the things I would definitely say is I exfoliate my skin a couple times within the week and I think that's kind of important to do to kind of you know keep that I feel like that helps keep my skin glowing and looking healthy and um, just polished really nice that's one thing another thing is I use some of my favorite highlighters. I love Mally. Y'all know I love my Mally. And this is Mally's um, highlighter and blush. And this one, I actually have the pink diamond one, but this is her highlight. It's obviously right here. And it's a really nice highlighter, you know. It is one that really, just really, really catches the light really nice. Anyway, yes, that's one of them. And then I love my Becca Opal. I want to get, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to get the uh, pearl one because I think that might be even more uh, flattering for me. Uh, but then again, getting tan skin now maybe. But of course, we all know the Becca Opal, which looks, yeah, it's crazy. That looks similar to Mally's, you know, the one I was just showing you. And uh, you can see the difference because hers is a little more golden and the Becca one's more pink tone. So those are two of my favorites that I really like to use in the, in the summertime or anytime. They are my, I would probably say two of my favorites. I mean, I use a whole bunch of different kinds, but my favorites. And what is the first beauty thing you think of when the weather warms up? I would say the first thing I think of when the weather warms up is the um, self tanners and oils and all those kind. Like last year and the year before, I didn't do it. I really wish I would have done it, but I didn't. So this year I'm hoping I, I work into uh, you know, doing a little bit of self tanning. I do like it and I like how it looks a lot of times if it works, obviously. My favorite is the Saint Tropez and the, um, well, no, I never tried the Tarte one. The Tarte one I would really like to try. I think the Saint Tropez is the only one that really was my favorite out of all that I've tried, but I've never tried the Tarte one. And I forget that there's another one now, but, um, yeah, definitely St. Tropez. So self-tanning, yes. I c that's one of the first beauty things I think of. What is your favorite part of spring? Oh my goodness, my favorite part of spring definitely has to be the scent. Like the fresh spring air. Like when you first can smell the, the 
fresh spring air. It just, I love it. It's just like I inhale and yeah, it's, it's, I love that. And then also we get like some red cardinals that come around and some bunny rabbits. So as soon as I see them, I mean, it's just like, yeah, spring's here. Do you do your hair differently in the spring? Not really. Um, I do want to try some different hair accessories and different things with my hair this year. I do put it up in a bun or pull it up a certain way um, with my brets or something like that. But I do want to see what other hair accessories are out there and just play around and, and just do a few different things. Um, for hair coloring, I usually like reds, but I, I do reds anytime, spring, summer, fall, whatever. Um, I have thought about doing the chocolate brown with the caramel highlights. I've done that before and it worked out really nice and looked really pretty that I thought about doing this year. I don't know yet, but I have thought about it. What clothing item are you most excited about wearing? Clothing item, um, I'd probably say my flip flops and sandals and things, things like that. Um, I don't know. I mean, like now I do have severe venous stasis so badly in my legs to where it's really discolored my legs pretty bad. And, um, and so that hasn't helped a lot when I want to wear any kind of shorts or capris and even with wearing my flip flops, like my, my feet, um, have kind of worn from the whole severe venous stasis, you know, what can you do? I mean, like I just do the best I can with it. I do love my flip flops and my sandals. So yes. Uh, what is your favorite springtime smell or fragrance? I like the fresh, clean scent, like, um, from Philosophy Pure Grace. That is a gorgeous scent in the spring and summertime. Gorgeous scent. Um, I probably even would say I like, um, Prada, the floral one, the floral or whatever it's called. I don't know. I know there's the Prada candy, but I like the floral one, that one. I like that one really well. Okay, favorite springtime lipstick color. My favorite springtime lipstick color has to be in the purple family. Has to be. I like the pink and purple shades that kind of makes it into a lilac or lilac shade, whatever. Purple, just, yeah, anything of a, a berry purple, whatever. I Just purple shades, yeah. They, well, they're, they're pretty, I think, kind of more flattering on me. Um, I do like pinks. I think pink's flattering too. I mean, I love my pinks. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But I've, within last couple of years, I've become more of a purple gal. And purple's my favorite shade. Anyway, so one of the, my um, purple shades that I really like, it was from the CoverGirl Lip Perfections, but it was the original ones that they had out. This one was called in uh, Divine. It was number 330. I forget what they call it now, but I think the word Divine's still in it. But it was the Divine shade, and I guess you're not going to really see it that way. But it's this really pretty uh, purple shade like, like that. Kind of a thawing. <laughs> that right there. I don't know. I just, I really like that. The other shade I have here is one of the new... Uh, from these um, Burt's Bees. I really like this and I had a lot of compliments. It's called Tulip Tide. I had a lot of people that were like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? And then a picture I'd taken. Um, and so yeah, that was, it was this. These are kind of sheer. There's some coloring to them, but right there it is. I had quite a few people asking me. And then Pink Pop. I wish I had my Pink Pop here, but I don't right now. Boy, I'll have to find it because Pink Pop and the Vivids, that's a good pink one. Favorite, favorite springtime nail polish. My favorite, and this is the shades that I go for a lot, maybe a baby pink too, but this one here from Essie that I got like last year, I was like, oh my God, my first one. That's Bikini, Bikini Sotini, the Bikini Sotini. Let's see, can you see that? It's like beautiful 
uh, bluish purpley shade, like a periwinkle. I, I like these that color for my nails. I might actually paint my nails this color today or tonight. What's the spring like weather where you're at? What's it like? Um, it depends here. It, it, I'm in Pennsylvania, so it can be um, rather chilly sometimes at nights, um, but really nice during the daytime. Um, I'd say somewhere around the 60s, maybe early 70s. Um, it can get down into the 50s at night, just depending. There was nine questions in all. I'll put the questions down below. And I tag you, 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 everybody. I just tag everybody. Everybody, everybody tagged, or everybody tagged. I tag everybody. So um, you can go ahead and tell them that I tagged you. And yeah, like to hear your answers to these questions, the springtime tag. So anyway, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. I'd really appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week. And um, I'm working on a schedule. So let's, let's hope that works. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Take care, everybody. I love y'all. Bye-bye.